Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to quickly transform photos into fun pop art style cartoons made of crisp black outlines and airbrushed colors. This tutorial utilizes some features that are included in version CC. If you're thinking of upgrading, I can offer you the newest version of Photoshop for only $7.99 per month. It even includes Lightroom and 20 gigabytes of cloud storage. Click the link in my video's description to get the discount. Open an image you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one and the others from Shutterstock. The first step is to convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively as well as replace it without having to redo all the effects. Click the icon at the upper right corner of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. To ensure that your results will be similar to the examples in this video, go to Image and Image Size. Its width and height can be any amount, however, make its resolution 150 pixels per inch. Then click OK. To fit it back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command 0. If you want to crop your image, open your rectangular marquee tool and drag it over your image to select the area you want to keep. The area outside your selection will be cropped off. Go to Image and Crop. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. Then fit it back onto your canvas. Make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Hide the top layer and make the bottom layer active. Go to Filter, Blur, and surface blur. Make the radius 40 and the threshold 40. Keep in mind, since this and the other filters that we'll be using are being applied to a smart object, by default they're smart filters, so you can always adjust the amounts in any of the smart filters at any time. Click OK to accept it. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. If your image is too large to see in the preview window, right-click your mouse or pen and click a smaller percentage. Open the Artistic folder and click Poster Edges. Make the Edge Thickness 10, the Edge Intensity 10, and the Posterization 6. Again, you can adjust them at any time. Then click OK. Make the top layer visible and active. Change the blend mode to color dodge. To replace the original photo with a different one without having to redo any of the effects, double click on any smart object to open the original photo. If you're using Photoshop version CC, I'll show you what to do in a few minutes. If you're using a version earlier than CC, Open an image you'd like to replace your original photo with. We want to place the new photo into the Smart Object Source file. To do this, open your Move tool by pressing V on your keyboard. Drag the new photo onto the tab of the Smart Object. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the original image and release. To resize it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it out or in. To move it, just drag it to a new position. To accept it, click the check mark at the top or press Enter or Return. Click this small X at the right of the tab to close the smart object. When you see this window, Click Yes to save the changes. Open your Pop Art Cartoon image 
and you'll see that the smart object automatically updated itself and applied all the filters to the new photo. To resize and reposition it, shift click on the top layer to make it active as well and press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. When you see this window, it's just letting us know that when you're using the transform tool, the smart filters will be temporarily turned off. Click OK. Position and or size it to your liking and click the check mark or press enter or return. To replace the original photo in version CC or later, Go to File and place Embedded. Find and click the new photo and click Place. As before, size and position it and press Enter or Return. Close the tab and click Yes. To fit it back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command Zero. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.